Hello, can I ask you a question? Do you desire power? Today in Project Zomboid, we visit the seat of the ultimate military power. The military base. Last time we dented up our car getting here, we need to make only a few minor adjustments if we're to take over this base. Minor adjustments, but ones that will be for the best. And so finding a lull in the mayhem, we suit up and get ready. There's a lot of fighting ahead. Are you ready? First things first, it's time to repark our car. I intentionally stole this for a reason. And although I'm missing the two front wheels and have almost no control, I can turn with my mind and uh, just park this one in place. That'll be fine. In a civilized manner, I open the door. Appropriate this car. Uh, after several attempts, <laughs> this will... This will just be a moment. There we are. This is mine now. Stay out. And appropriating even more. And we park in parallel. That was a perfect park. We are, uh, we are now safe from the outside world. But before we can obtain the guns and ammo, there's something important to do. First, we need to clear out the base itself. Uh, they will, they will try to kill me, but I'm ready. Step one, clear out the inside. One at a time, by two, by three. And as it turns out, there are many in here. But it's no problem for Gerald McWilliams. Chancellor, Slayer, Defiler. This place is really geared up, but there are many in here. My god, these things are fantastic. Hazmat zombies, more servicemen, and yet even more. I like the look of these ones better, it's too bad. Ah, now this is what I was talking about. This is much better. Both these backpacks are very good. I think it's time to repurpose these. More behind every corner, at every doorway. And some of them have treasures. Ah, here's what I needed, and some ammo to boot. Now I'm going to equip this one on my back. This one has slightly better stats, but really not by much. And I think you could wholeheartedly agree with me that this one looks better. I'm not a big fan of the camo pattern here. We can still carry these out of here and load them in my car. My car. Wait, my car. With the base mostly secured, I have a new idea. Let's load these into my trunk, put that AR on my back, and then set out for something not dissimilar to an attack. And it's about time we finish our business with this aiming skill. So here goes nothing. One, two, two. It looks like they aren't attracted to me. The A-star pathfinding algorithm has failed me now. We'll still keep an eye behind us because there's bound to be more in the mill base coming out, but I think we're going to start to get bigger hordes now. It's a good thing I have this lucky trait. It's made my life much easier now. Here goes one. Wait till you see the whites of their eyes. Here goes two. Uh, I didn't see the... Here goes another. And another. Ah, uh, crap. And my aiming really needs work. That's really half the reason we're doing this. We're still only at level five and missing many of these shots. By the time you hit ten, you can hardly miss anything. Ah, it looks like more are streaming in now. Let's up the ante a bit more, shall we? And we'll just wait for five minutes or so. I'll just turn my back to this group a little while. Okay, I'm looking in three, two, wowzers. Look, they aren't even rendering anymore, I think. Okay, I need to turn this thing off. That is actually quite dangerous. All right, this was my plan to actually get the rest of the aiming stat. This is a notoriously good place in the game. The military base has guns and ammo from all of the zombies in it. They're all geared up in military attire and it naturally makes the best place to grind your aiming. So now that I have 10 FPS and I seem to have cleared out most of the building, we still have a bunch in the yard, but not for long. Now watch with my astounding 5 FPS as I execute the last of them and take back the military base. I've got a few magazines here and get ready to gain XP. Not every shot is a perfect hit, but hey man, I've got all day. Here goes nothing. I like it that I'm just not panicked in the slightest. My, even my character knows that he's totally safe behind the cars. But this is about as fast as I can play the game. Here comes another round. Now, I'll be clear here, the goal isn't actually to kill all of these. I don't know if we'll have enough ammo. Alright, my computer is really struggling under this. I give this military base 10 frames out of 10. I might even switch to full auto mode just because... I don't know how I'm gonna get out of this with my... Without blue screening. Right now we've got 601 out of 3,000 experience. Let's see if we can get at least up to, I don't know, 8? Ah, uh, here we go. This is more like it. This is more like it. My weapon kept getting jammed and I have about half the time I need to react because of the frames. Uh, here goes nothing. I'm heavily panicked, but I'm sure I'll hit someone in the horde. The scary part is I'm not even sure if I can see them all at once. There's just so many. But here goes nothing. And that's why we bring multiple magazines. Here goes round two. Hey! Hey, don't do that. I, I'm at a severe handicap right- Oh crap, he's gonna try to shoot me. He's even gonna- 
Shit, I might actually be dead from this. I should have thought this through better. <laughs> I'm just going to have to walk away from this horde. Every time I look at the horde, the game just- The game just really struggles here. Let me just keep back a healthy distance so as not to induce any more panicking. Here, we're getting a little better at this now, I think. See, he's getting more- more orange, less red. Well done, Gerald McWilliams, well done. You'll be a crack shot in no time, as soon as you get better at reloading these bullets. Here we are, much better. Well, it seems like every bullet is hitting now. It doesn't help that I'm highly panicked, but there's just so many of them that I figure, what could possibly go wrong? You know, I'm not sure if this whole assault rifle thing is working out so well, I have a better idea. I still have this from before. I uh, know this is something I'm certain we can all find far more agreeable. There's one, two, Three. This will take us up at a much faster rate. 1190 to 1210. That's 20 XP in one shot. We'll just continue like this throughout the night. Again, and again, and again. Oh, we're at around 15. We'll round it off. We're around 1500 XP now. You know, to the nearest 500. This means it's going to take us about 150 more shots just to get to firearm level six with the shotgun. I'm actually getting physically sick being here. Let me just, just take a moment. I have to go to the infirmary. There is an infirmary here. I'm I'm gonna need beta blockers anyway. With my two FPS, I'm also gonna need antibiotics if they have them. Or even if I can't get that, if I could just have a timeout in here for a minute. All right, back to the war. All right, this is kind of a, how many licks does it take to get to the center of a Tootsie Pop? We've got 1,500 experience and we've got 2,219 zombie kills. Let's get to level six and see where that gets us. 10, that's 10 shots. 20, 30, about 40. My God, there were more in here. That's about 50. I think that's about 60, but I'm starting to lose count. I'm also needing to go out and take breaks. I'm beginning to experience massive nausea. I'm spending so much time shooting that I'm getting thirsty. It's time to sit down again. Somewhere I can't hear flies buzzing. Fortunately, these ones didn't know I was here. Must be something wrong with the pathing here. They just don't ever come to me. Nonetheless, that's about 80 now. I am scared of this fence. If they somehow notice that I am within their grasp, I'll, uh, I'm not sure if I can handle this many rushing at me at 10 frames per second. But I'll do what must be done. There we are. Good. Let's wait for green to happen. There we go. Everyone say cheese. And I am getting nauseous again. I think we're around a hundred shells now fired into crowds of zombies and we're at long last. Oh, we've just done it. They're aiming level six. Look, that's proof. Living proof. For God's sake, man. All it took was like 600 shotgun shells for one level. I chose this gun because it had a good spread. I said a hunch. Oh god, I think I'll just go till I run out of shells and see where that gets me. I'll sleep in that chair tonight. I'm sure it's safe. If I've made it here for this long. There goes nothing. One, two, nope. Uh, actually, as it turns out, that's uh, that was the last of my shotgun shells. Ah, damn. All right, well, I'm back in tomorrow with the M16 to lose more weight and just fail miserably. That was- I thought that- I thought that would definitely be enough. It's time to study. There's so much I still don't know. So much to learn, so much to learn. I finally found these skill books. I've been looking for these. Well, I've thinned them out, but I- uh, we're still a ways away here, and it looks like more are coming. It looks like this side is gonna be a safer bet. Uh, I guess we'll use up the rest of these M16 rounds over here. A tad worrisome, and we're uh, almost running out of bullets, I see. Maybe if we just go in at point-blank range, it'll be safe. I didn't play the game, and then they updated it. So now all those shadows of nothing have just become black silhouettes. Don't forget, we are in the beta here. Ah, uh, wasn't that relaxing? Time to eat a banana. A very rotten banana. It's not safe at all to go out. I'm also getting sick from eating that banana. I received a haunting update today that zombies will crawl under cars more often, so I am scared. It's not safe to go back outside anymore, or nowhere is safe, rather. There are still several tricks I can use to be completely safe, but well, it's nothing that a little sleep won't cure, right? All right, now in the middle of the night, let's steal away. Ooh, ammo strap. Okay, so they can get through cars now. At least I'm still safe inside my mind. Here we go, uh, don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me. Well, while we're in this area, yeah, see, look, they just crawl under the car now. That's what they're doing. They're crawling under the car. All right, okay, my FPS have caught up. Um, what is good is that they'll now just go kind of like through the car, you know? Here I am, I'm in the car again. Jesus. Okay, it's time to leave. 
It's time to leave this place. They can now get through car barricades. So much for this. It was nice while it lasted. So much for that. All right, goodbye, military base. No longer are you safe ever again. Much to my uh, chagrin. Goodbye, mill base. Goodbye, old Project Zomboid. Uh, but we did make it out. We just barely avoided death this time. Now I'm going to get as far from here as possible and back to the uh, least populated area. Whoops. I'm not sure if this game mode is going to be uh, playable anymore. Uh, I hate to say it this way, but um, that was uh, that was the major that was the vast majority of my plan was just surround myself with cars. Unfortunately, I'm living in a new crawling reality. So. Very sad, we're going to need to navigate our way back to town. No more military base, but... Well, I... To say the least, I didn't expect that, so... Here will be a wonderful, majestic drive back through a field, so... I'll meet you when I get back to, uh, Rosewood. Let's go to Rosewood. I've just managed to get myself completely lost in the wilderness again. Conveniently enough. I think we're on a path, but I can't be sure of it. Ah, uh, this looks promising now. Good, good. This... Seems to be a way out. Oh, finally we're here. We've reached civilization. It's a road. Oh, for God's sake, I didn't know if I'd ever see a paved road again, but here we are. It's marvelous. It's amazing. We got the, uh, the utility way out of that horrible, uh, labyrinthine wood path. It happens to be one of the foggiest days I've ever seen in the game. But I think we're just lucky to be alive. I crashed into a couple of trees there, but this looks like a great place to up my foraging stat. Yeah, look at all of the foraging to be had out here. There's no one around for miles. We're safe. Maybe I'll even start a fire or something and just have a camping trip out here, you know, like the pilgrims or pioneers or someone. We can create a stone axe to cut down some trees and get logs. We can chop down a tree, use that for logs. Two logs. Make a campfire kit, build a fire right here in the middle of the road. I'm going to, I'm gonna go goodwill hunting mode on this book for a moment and then we'll use it for fire fuel. There we are. Thank you. Now we'll just add farming for beginners to the fire. Cut down maybe one more tree for its logs. And we'll add in all of these twigs. We already understand carpentry, so let's just add it as fuel. Ah, uh, they say the only thing that's constant is change. I thought we were safe behind those cars, but the times, they are a-changing. What does this mean for our quest for max stats? Well, I think for one thing, it means we'll be spending a lot more time on metalworking. Really an underutilized trait, but I'd also like to just spend some time out in the wilderness. Not only that, but we're also going to spend 10 hours attempting to fight 10,000 zombies on Saturday. Starting a new file. Probably the closest thing I've ever done to a speedrun. Kind of proud of it. We'll see how it goes. I'm just, uh, brings out the gamer in me. And I'm very upset that the, uh, very upset that it, we're going to be surrounded much more often now. Uh, but it just kind of changes the ball game, you know? Well, I, I hope to continue stoking the fire of your heart with these videos. Help Helping you, helping you mourn the loss of zombies that could not crawl under cars. This life has been a wild ride and uh, I think it's gonna get a lot weirder soon. Well, as always, thanks to my patrons. They are the fire and the car. They are the fire that keeps me warm throughout the winter and I rub my hands together near them. And thanks to you, I hope you enjoyed. As always, I'm ambiguous amphibian. Goodbye now.